We are very, very, very much pro-tactical voting on this channel. I think I've made that quite clear by now, <laughs> you know? Um, like I say, if I wasn't where I was, uh, or at least, you know, in the constituency where I was, and I had to, uh, you know, vote another party uh, to ditch a Tory, I absolutely would take that, no questions asked. Uh, it's especially especially bear in mind if my MP was someone like, I don't know, maybe Kimmy Badnock or Liz Truss or, you know, Jacob Rees-Mogg. There are a lot, and I mean a lot, of Tories up for the chop at this upcoming general election. We are over halfway through this campaign and it does seem, does very, very much seem, tactical voting is now in the minds of more people, more so than ever, especially for this campaign. And bear in mind, especially so if you hate your Tory MP. Like, if, my, if you are sitting in the constituency and Kimmy Badnock is your, uh, you know, constituency MP and you want to get rid of her, the only way... The only way you could get rid of someone like Kimmy Badnock or Jacob Rees-Mogg or, you know, Liz Truss, the list goes on, <laughs> is, of course, vote tactically. And here's the thing, guys. Getting rid of Kimmy Badnock, if you succeed in that and you vote tactically, will bring even more benefits. Not just you getting rid of Kimmy Badnock, but it will mean even worse things for the Tory party and the civil wars that they are going to be involved in, if not for a decade and not more. So remember, guys, there is a big picture massively building going on here, and it is worth reminding you what that big picture really is. So before we go getting into all that stuff, uh, please do remember to click on the like, the share button, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And of course, down below, there's the Patreon page, there's a Buy Me Coffee link where you can, well, buy me coffee, uh, the YouTube thank you button, and of course, the Patreon page and the Pony Club down below as well that help, help support the channel if you want to support it that way as well. So, what are we talking about today? Well, of course, we are talking about Kimmy Badnock and, of course, tactical voting. So, it is first, of course, well worth reminding you who your tactical voting choice is. And we are going to have a look at this. This comes from The Independent. And this is their call from Labour. You know, get tactical voting, oust Badnock, who is a leadership hopeful. And we'll be getting into that as well in a moment too. But this is what we've got here. Izzy White, the Labour candidate for North West Essex, the now reformed Saffron Walden seat in the Tory Blue Wall heartlands, has now claimed that she is just 2% behind the Trade Secretary, with just three weeks to go before the election. In a bid for campaign funds and appeal for Lib Dems and Greens to vote tactically, Miss White has now posted a prediction suggesting that Badnock is only on 36%, that she is now snapping at her feel, uh, uh, feels, <laughs> heels <laughs> with 34%. So, there, ladies and gentlemen, is your opportunity. If you are in that constituency, Saffron Walden, you have an opportunity to get rid of Kimmy Badnock. If you are a Green, if you are a Lib Dem, please just get rid of Kimmy Badnock. I know you may not particularly like the Labour Party, etc., but honestly, what's your alternative? I, I generally ask that out of a serious chance because it doesn't look like the other Lib Dem or the Green candidate are going to be able to take that seat. But if you get a Labour candidate, not only do you oust Kimmy Badnock, getting rid of her... <laughs> as your, um, you know, MP, but you also, and I want to remind you this, 
Kimmy Badnock is one of the key Tory culture war warriors. So not only do you get rid of Kimmy Badnock, but you get rid of someone who has been the main culture war spreader and advocate in the Tory party. So, honestly, that alone should be enough to justify going in on this and voting tactically to get rid of Kimmy Badnock. But there are wider problems. There are wider, wider things here going on. Because, as Lou said there, you saw there in that headline, she is a leadership hopeful. Yes. One of the re big reasons why people are asking me, why do you look at conservative homes so much? Why do you do that? Well, because it has a direct outreach into the non-parliamentary party of the conservative party. It has a lot of outreach. It has a lot of weird and wacky, funny articles that we've covered for over the years. But one of the things they do quite regularly, who is your favorite minister? And guess what? These polls have predicted who will be Tory leadership contests, who would win. Liz Truss is one of the big obvious ones because it was the party that voted for her. And ultimately, at the next Tory leadership contest, once again, I think we'll get down to the wire and it will be the party that will choose who the new candidate is. And if Kimmy Badnock gets down to that final two, the party will choose Kimmy Badnock. Now, Will she hold on to that position? How long is certainly questionable. But during that time, imagine her being leader of potentially the Tory party. If they manage to, of course, keep their oppositional status, she becomes leader of the opposition. You know, come on, guys, you know. When you have the massive opportunity to get rid of her, just just do it. Just just do it and get rid of her. This is one of those times where you've got to put ideology aside and everything to just get rid of someone just as awful and terrible as Kimmy Badnock. So please, just, just please do it. <laughs> for, for everyone's sake, you know, Please just just go ahead and get rid of Kimmy Badnock. It would be fantastic to get rid of her, um, but of course she is the main leadership candidate, uh, or at least if she throws her hat into the ring. Even though she's denied running, you know, shadow campaigns and having a team organizing around her that is apparently building up her leadership campaign. Of course she is, because you know this is exactly what this trust did. Exactly what Rishi Sunak did. You know, it's exactly what, you know, Tom Tugendhat and um, James Cleverly also trying to do at the moment as well. So if you get rid of her, not only is it going to make the future Tory civil wars just that bit more funny and hilarious as they fight amongst each other like rats in a sack, but you've got rid of the main contender opening the field to all kinds of potential wacky shenanigans and blue-on-blue blue action. So, you know, think about it this way. Also getting rid of Kimmy Badnock opens up even more future chaos for the Tory party. And quite frankly, if you cannot get behind any of the reasons that I've given, well... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. But, hey... Um, please, please, people of that constituency, please get rid of Kimmy Badnock. Um, because oh boy, the consequences if she, she loses will be incredibly big. So, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. And of course, as always, please do remember to click on that like, share, and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there's links to help the channel as well the Patreon page, the Buy Me Coffee link, the Pony Club as well, down below. And of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.